Joanne Lambert served aboard the USCSS Nostromo during its voyage to LV-426, in which the subsequent xenomorph encounter cost the ship and all but one of its crew. Lambert was the Nostromo's navigator and was chosen to survey the beacon on LV-426's surface, along with Captain Dallas and Executive Officer Kane. After the realization that Ash was a company android and learning of Special Order 937, Ripley, Lambert, and Parker decided to blow the ship and escape aboard the Narcissus. Ripley elected to begin the self-destruct sequence on her own, while Lambert and Parker were to collect fuel canisters for their escape. It was this that led to the pair's fatal encounter with the Xenomorph. While preoccupied gathering coolant canisters, the alien was able to sneak up on Lambert, who froze upon seeing the creature's approach. Unfortunately, due to her terror, Parker was unable to fire his flamethrower towards the creature without also hitting Lambert. In a last-ditch attempt to draw the alien away, Parker charged at it, only to be quickly killed. As the alien made its way back towards Lambert, still paralyzed, Ripley was left to hear her scream as she met a hideous fate. When Ripley finally found their corpses, Lambert was left with a hole ripped through her face and her corpse strung up from the ceiling. According to the official company files, Lambert was incredibly nervous and suffered from hyperactivity. She often avoided any risks in her job as the navigator and regretted being chosen to accompany the crew to the surface of LV-426. As the killings began on the Nostromo, Lambert grew more unstable, especially after the death of Captain Dallas, whom she blamed herself after a miscarriage calculation on the motion detector. Lambert's death was actually changed several times throughout production and filming. In one of the early drafts of the script, Lambert was taken by the alien and cocooned to be eaten by the alien and her remains were found by Ripley when she stumbled across the hive. Another version involved Parker accidentally incinerating her after firing towards the alien, though the most talked about version was one in which she had been sucked out into space through a small breach in the Nostromo's hull. This concept was eventually reused for the newborn's death in Alien Resurrection. After filming had completed, Ridley Scott decided to change her death yet again. In the original sequence, Lambert was to crawl into a locker and die of fright as the alien approached. This is why in the finished cuts, we see the alien's tail move between legs, which actually belonged to Harry Dean Stanton's Brett. Due to her death not being explicitly shown on screen, many have speculated that the alien sexually assaulted Lambert with its tail before killing her. More evidence of this can be seen in the last Survivor DLC for Alien Isolation, in which the player stumbles across her corpse. However, the developers have said that these bonus levels are to be taken as what-if scenarios. So what do you guys think of Lambert's death in Alien? I personally think it was one of the more frightening deaths of the entire film because a lot of it is left to the imagination. And do you guys buy into the theory that the alien actually assaulted her before killing her with its tail? Be sure to leave all your thoughts down in the comment section below, and if you guys are new to the channel and you like this video, subscribe for more Alien and Predator content like this. We cover all the latest news, theories, character explanations, and trailer breakdowns here at the Hybrid Network, and we also have a podcast called AVP Underworld, which brings together other YouTubers and people in the Alien and Predator communities to talk about stuff in long-form discussion. Thank you guys again for watching. My my name is Nick and I'll catch you guys next time.